Never take your clients for granted. Always give your service like the first day, every time they come in through that door, and they will definitely return. People can walk into any salon, but you don't get a personal service. My service is very personal. Hair means a lot to people. It's not, okay, who cares? No. My kind of client, for them, it means something. The hair means something. My father decided in the mid-60s to come to America. My father was a tailor. He was um, granted a visa and, and a work permit to come and show his work. He took that step for us. He said, okay, I'm gonna go and look for a better opportunity to have my children and be able to support them. My father was a big part of who I am as a business person. What I saw from him, the dedication, the determination, and respect that he has for his work, I equally have for mine. I just love doing hair. I used to love doing my Barbies. And I was 13 years old, so they used to put a little stool so that I can reach the sink and I would help. By the age of 16, I was already in the chair. Then eventually I went to school, of course, and got my license. About four years later, I took over her business. I was there not too long, unfortunately. They had sold the building and I had to close down. I felt like I had to start all over again. When I first wanted to open up the place again. I went to a real estate agent and uh, I let them know that I was in business over 20 years. Um, they didn't take me seriously. Why so, do you think you weren't taken seriously? I'm small. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> so that's when I brought my son's father in so that they could see that there was a man in my life and, and they would take me serious. <laughs> I wanted to give good work and that demands great products, investment, and I started like with $20,000 and leased uh, a lot of my equipment. Business-wise, it's very difficult because most of the stylists are very gypsy. Very, they like traveling around and change. One young lady walked through my door. He, she just had a ride from Ireland. I was looking for work and she's been with me since then. As time went by, I hire another two gentlemen. One of them opened up a business two blocks away. I mean, I'm not computer literate, so unfortunately I trusted and um, allowed him to put the information on the computer without knowing that his plans were to open up his own place. We uh, do nails, we do waxing, facials, um, trying to promote that now. We also have a makeup station. Okay, what time are you doing? We probably see 100 to 150 clients a week. There are people that have been with me for 30 years, 15, 25, second, third generation. 
those are the ones that have kept me afloat here. So that's why it's very difficult for me to walk away from the chair, because that's my guarantee. The most rewarding is to make people happy. You make friends, people can find you, talk to you, and being able to not only make them beautiful, also give a, a word of hope and advice, and that's, um, for me, the ultimate.